welcome back to our channel. This is EO's Marketplace News and my name is Alex and now are you excited? Okay, are you excited to know what's the status of your coin? Alright, let's go. I'll take a review because I will be the I will be giving with you I will be giving you the price analysis as of November 7. Alright? So guys, um this news is brought to us by PCN or Preferred Currency News, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, Stellar, Litecoin, Cardano, Monero, and Tron price analysis as of November 7th. Alright, now the sharp drop in Bitcoin's volatility at a time when the volatility in the U.S. stock market soared is a sign that cryptocurrencies have decreased the occupied from equity markets. It has emerged as an independent asset class buoyed by fundamentals. A recent report by Morgan Stanley Bank also underlines the emergence of Bitcoin and altcoins as a new institutional investment class. However, any new asset has to face numerous hurdles in the beginning. Cryptocurrencies are currently going through the phase of denial before they reach acceptance. As soon as this indecision resolves, we are likely to see a number of buyers who are currently sitting on the sidelines jump in Galaxy Digital CEO Michael Novogratz believes that 2019 will be an important year, predicting that Bitcoin will break $10,000 in um, quarter one and continue its journey northward to reach 20,000 or more by the end of the year. Wow, big goal. Okay, while the larger players are focused on Bitcoin, there is a tussle between the top two altcoins for the second spot. Ripple recently surpassed Ethereum for a short period of time as the leading altcoin by market capitalization before Ethereum reclaimed its position. The cryptocurrency market seems to be slowly returning back to life. Let's see which coins are likely to rally from current levels. <clears throat> All right, let's start. Um, let's start with BTC and USD. <clears throat> so guys, Bitcoin is trying to sustain above the moving averages on a close above $6,654.55. It can rally to $6,831.99. So the price has turned down three times from this resistance. So this is a key level to watch on the upside. A breakout of this can propel the cryptocurrency to $7,400. The moving averages are flat, which shows a balance between the bulls and the bears. All right. So a failure to break out of $6,831.99 will extend the stay inside the range so on the downside, $6,200 has been acting as a strong support. Now, if this level breaks, a retest of the critical support zone at $5,900 to $6,075.04 is probable. Now, the BTC and USD pair will become negative on a breakdown of $5,900. So the lower supports are at $5,450 and $5,000. All right. So therefore, traders holding long positions can keep their stops at $5,900. All right, guys, take note. For BTC and USD pair, you can keep your stop at $5,900. All right. Next, ETH and USD. Ethereum has risen above the moving averages. It should now attempt to gradually move up to $249.93. Wow. First signs of a trend reversal will be when um, the ET ETH and USD pair sustains above the range. Such a move could carry it to $300 and further to $322. So therefore, traders can wait for a close, that's UTC time frame, above $249.93 and buy with a suitable stop loss. So if the bears defend the overhead resistance, the digital currency will continue to trade inside the range for the next few days. The, trend, uh, the downtrend will resume on a breakdown below $188.35 and $167.32.
Alright. Next, XRP and USD. Sir Ripple triggered our buy proposed on October 31st when it closed, um, that's UTC time frame, above $0.48 on November 5. Though the bears attempted to sink of the pair on November 6, it found support at the moving averages and rallied back up. So today, the XRP and USD pair is again facing resistance at $0.55. So if the bulls can defend the moving averages and push the price above this overhead resistance, a rally to $0.62 is probable. So partial profits can be booked at this level and the rest of the position can be held with a close stop loss because above $0.62, a rally to $0.7644 is likely. All right, now the upward stopping moving averages and the RSI close to the overbought territory shows that the short term trend is bullish. So if the virtual currency slides below the moving averages, it will invalidate our bullish view Therefore, traders can keep up an initial stop loss at 0.425. Alright guys, again for XRP and USD pair, you can have an initial stop loss of 0.425. Take note. Next, BCH and USD. In the past 7 days, Bitcoin Cash has risen above, above 55%, which is a bullish sign. Okay, now it is currently knocking on the overhead resistance of $660.0753 from where it had rebounded in early September. So it is difficult to predict the reaction of BCH and USD pair following the fork. Therefore, traders can book partial profits at the current levels and hold the rest with a, with a suitable stop loss. Now, if the bulls push the price above um, $660.0753, the digital currency can rally to $850. Therefore, we are not suggesting to close the entire position. So the 20-day EMA has turned up, which is a positive sign. All right. And as the RSI has reached the overbought territory, the virtual currency can consolidate for a couple of days. So our bullish view will be invalidated if the bear sank the price below $400. Okay, next, EOS. EOS and USD. So EOS has climbed close to the top of the tight range. The bulls have failed to break out of this range since September 24. So we expect a strong defense of this level. So a breakout can propel the EOS USD pair to $6.8299, above which it is likely to pick up momentum and rally to $9.1668 and further to $11.4. So therefore, traders who are long can keep their pr protective stops at 4.9 just below the support of the tight range. So if the bulls fail to break out of the range, the pair can slide to the bottom of the range at $5. So below, which a fall to 4.493 is possible. Not bad, all right? So just be careful. Next, XLM and USD. Stellar has broken out of the downtrend line of the descending triangle with force, which is a bullish sign. With the latest move, it has invalidated the bearish pattern. Through it did not trigger a buy suggested in the previous anal uh, analysis, it has sustained above the downtrend line for two days. So therefore, we advocate initiating long positions and breakout above $0.275. So the target objective is a rally to $0.36. If the bears defend overhead resistance at $0.304, now traders can either trail the stops higher or close the positions. Our bullish view will be invalidated if the XLM and USD pair turns down from the current levels and breaks down of the moving averages. The initial stops can be kept at $0.2, which can be raised quickly depending on the price action. Next. LTC and USD. So as forecast in our previous analysis, 
the bears are defending the zone between the 50-day SMA and the downtrend line. Therefore, we had a recommended booking partial profits when the Litecoin approaches the downtrend line. All right, guys, so see here, all right? Now, we have not proposed booking complete profits because a breakout of the downtrend line can result in a rally at $69.279. Therefore, traders who have booked partial profits can trail the stops on the remaining position to $50. All right. We anticipate the 20 the day EMA to offer a strong support on, um, on any dip from the current levels. Both moving averages are flat, which points to a continuation of the consolidation. The LTC and USD pair will resume its downtrend if it dips below $47.246. So ADA and USD. Guys, um, Cardano broke below the symmetrical triangle on October 29, but the bears could not break the support at 0 0.068989. So this led to a pullback that has now carried the virtual currency to the resistance line of the symmetrical triangle. The bulls are currently facing resistance at $0.082207, above which a rally to $0.094256 is probable. So on the other hand, if the ADA and USD pair struggles to break out of the immediate resistance, ouch, it will slip back and remain stuck in the range of $0.068989 point zero eight two two zero seven dollars so we couldn't find any reliable buy setups at the current levels hence we remain neutral on the pair we shall suggest a long position if we see buyers return all right so guys um xmr and usd so through monero has held above 112.44 dollars for the past three days it has failed to pick up momentum so this shows a lack of demand at higher levels previously from september 25 to october 10 the bulls could not build up momentum resulting in a fall to the bottom of the right range if the bears think the xmr and usd pair below the moving averages it will re-enter the tight range between $100.453 and $112.44 once again. So we couldn't find reliable setup at the current level, so we are not suggesting any trades, okay? Again, for XMR and USD pair, they are not suggesting any trades as of this moment, all right? Now, TRX and USD. So guys, this is the last but not least, Tron. So Tron continues to trade inside the range with a mild positive bias. The price has risen above both moving averages, but is struggling to find buyers at higher levels. As long as the TRX and USD pair remains in a range, we expect random movements that are difficult to trade. It will make a decisive move either on a breakout or breakdown from the range. A rally above the October 15 intraday highs is likely to push the price towards $0.04158193. However, on two occasions, the bulls had broken out of the overhead resistance but failed to sustain the prices above it. Therefore, traders should wait for the digital currency to close, that's UTC time frame, above $0.03 before initiating long positions. So the trend will turn negative if the bear sink the price below $0.0183. All right. So guys, that has been the latest um, price analysis and current updates uh, in your crypto world, in the crypto world. So guys, I know that you want more news, right? You want to be updated anytime and everywhere right so please visit preferredcurrency.news and you can subscribe as early as today yes subscribe now so that you will be the first one to get notified of the new updates you can use your preferred method you have two um you can use your PayPal for monthly recurring for only 15 dollars per month fiat or you can use the coinbase option 
um, for only $180 annual or yearly subscription that's to be paid with your favorite crypto all right so if you would like to check if um, what crypto they allow uh, you can check it here all right here you can check this all right so guys the man behind preferred currency news his name is Donald Lewis or Donald the guru if you want to contact him you have two options you can contact him through the website so your name and email are required and of course your message and but um, I think the best way to contact him directly is call his number. It's 1-801-601-8105. Or if you like, you can um, add him on WhatsApp. It's 1-801-471-6939. You can add him on Skype. His Skype ID is Donald.CapitalFCDA. You can follow him on Twitter at Preferred Crypto. I, I already followed him on Twitter and as you can see guys, on his Twitter, um, he always tweets the latest news and updates about the cryptocurrencies or blockchain, right here. He has a lot of posts already. All right, now, um, or you can um, join our Telegram channel which is preferred crypto.news and if you like to PM Donald Lewis at Telegram, you can you can just um, type at preferred crypto all right again at preferred crypto that's donald lewis all right so guys if you subscribe to our page you can be you, know, you can become one of our affiliate all right how just click this link right here and it will take you to this page one second all right so this is the affiliate section of preferred currency news if you are not an affiliate but wish to become one you will need to apply so how to apply guys you must be a registered user on the site if you have an existing account on the site please log in if not please register all right <clears throat> so guys going back um, if you subscribe to our uh, preferred currency news you'll be getting a newsletter every day all right so let me um, give you um, what what is a newsletter okay the newsletter that we will be sending you via email that's every day 12 hours before we um, before we post our videos here on YouTube so the article of the day not just one article the articles rather the articles of the day um, is available as you can see here it's one two three yes but don't worry because when you click continue reading it will take you to the page where a lot of news are available for you not just for today for the past days you can read if ever you haven't all right it will take you to pcn.today okay i will show it uh, how i will show it to you later on okay then um on the newsletter itself there are a lot of websites for you to open or for you to check out it can help on your research like for example if you have your listings you can visit eos marketplace.news or marketplace.pcn today to place your additional listings all right but guys here the most important part of the newsletter is the donald's research list right i was giving earlier i was giving to you the price analysis for some of your favorite cryptocurrencies but here at Donald's research list guys let's open you can just click this one open spreadsheet and it will take you to this spreadsheet all right earlier I was giving you um, I think it was seven or eight or your um, the top I think the top ten or um, let's see um, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah the top 10 I was giving you the top 10 um, cryptocurrencies right or tokens or coins for their status but I know that you are not satisfied of it because maybe you have not um, you have not invested in that coin so for Donald's research list you don't need to worry about it because all the coins and tokens are here yes you heard me right guys all the tokens and coins are here you just need to research on the name of your coin or token and then you will know the status of it immediately right immediately that easy that convenient right 
Okay. Yes. So, <laughs> all right. So, guys, it's just simple. Let me show you. For example, this first um, this first column shows the name of the tokens or coins. All right, and it says here the um, the definition or the meaning. Why is it colored like blue? Why is it colored yellow? Like colored tan or green and etc. Right. So red have negative news. Orange or tan are neutral. Yellow are fair. Green have good news. Blue are showing the best news. All right. So when you subscribe to PreferredCurrency.News, you can have this Donald's research list and the newsletter every day. You can have a copy of this one, so your life will be easier. Yes. Okay. Let's not go far. Let me give you the tokens or coins that has the best news. Okay. Just an example, not all, guys, so that you will be excited to subscribe. All right. First, Bitcoin. All right. Um, for Bitcoin today, the status of Bitcoin as of November 9, 2018, USD recent price is 6,500.87. All right. Share of total market volume is 32.88%. Google searches compared to the past seven days, it's 80%. It's crossing down 50 for SMA movement. Number of positive technical indicators, none. 24 hours current volume versus price, zero. Seven days weekly volume versus price, it's 83.64. 30 days volume versus price, it's 24.97. And percent issued, it's 82.70%. And look, OX or OX, ZRX have also or has also the best news for today. So it's um, USD recent price, it's 0.76. Um, share of total market volume is 0.09%. Google searches compared to the past seven days, it's 54%. It's crossing up 50. Wow. Number of positive technical indicators, zero. 24 hours current volume versus price, zero. Seven days volume versus price, zero. 30 days monthly volume versus price, 7.34. And percent issued, it's 54.57%. Want to scroll down and find oh where's the um where's my favorite token or coin you can just simply click if you're using pc or computers Control f all right Control f and then just type for example let's see what is the status of dav dav coin all right so here for dav coin there for DAVCoin, um, USD recent price, yes, it's blue, so it's still showing the best news. It's 0.01. Share total market volume, 0%. Google searches, 0%. It's crossing up 50. Um, number of positive technical indicators, 3. 24 hours current volume versus price, 7 days volume versus price, and 30 days volume versus price, it's 0 and percent issued it's 32.94 percent all right now last last i'll give you last um let's say for my favorite token or coin let's say eos okay so for eos today it's 5.57 that's us in a recent price share total market volume is 5.08 percent Google searches compared to the past seven days, it's 80%. It's crossing down 50 for SMA movement. Number of positive technical indicators, one. 24 hours current volume versus price, it's zero. Seven days weekly volume versus price, it's 18.78. And 30 days volume versus price, it's 14.51. So percent issued, um, it's 90.06%. Wow. So, guys, if you can see a lot of, for example, BTC or Bitcoin, if you can see a lot of green or blue in this row, it means they are showing a, the best or the good news. They're showing a good news. So, um, you could prioritize for your research those tokens or coins. You could prioritize them. But, guys, just a, rem um, just a reminder, this sheet is not a recommendation to buy or sell. All right, you must do your own research, each one for yourself. All right, 
because we here at EOS Marketplace News, we are not financial advisors. So we are just here to help you get updated of the um, of the tokens or coins. And um, we are just giving you statistics, all right? So guys, um, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now so that you will be the first one to get notified, all right? So guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video and I hope you will not forget to like this video and subscribe. All right, this has been Alex. Thank you so much. Bye.